Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's complex, super advanced M&A merger Start modeling course. calculating our sources and uses of funds. So let me zoom out so I can explain the detail behind sources and uses here. Let's first start with the uses of funds. We always got to figure out how much money we need and then we got to figure out where we're going to get it from. So what we're going to do is as follows. We're going to bring in here the target debt. That's JCPenney. We're going to bring in, if you recall, tranche 1, 2, and revolver. Acquirer, Target, tranche 1, 2, and also their revolver. We're going to bring in those values in column L. We're going to get this from their debt sweeps. Then what we'll do is, we're going to have to decide, do we want to refinance? So we're going to put in refinancing options here. And this would be either 0 or 1. We're not going to build in a full refinancing option here because we don't need to. This is not an LBO. And therefore, if we are refinancing, we'll put in some percentage ten tender cost assumptions. And therefore, what we will then do is say, well, if we do want to refinance, then it'll be whatever in here. If we do refinance, then a dollar will come out. So if, yes, refi then a dollar amount appears. If no refi on a tranche by tranche basis, zero, clearly. So we will multiply this switch, zeros or ones, by this number to calculate that. Again, very similar, identical nearly to what we did in the LBO summary. Then, for our tender costs, if we did have anything refinanced, we will take the refinance amount multiply each one of those as appropriate against the tenant cost percentage and that's the cell that will go into this N29. We'll simply hard code a total transaction costs figure. We'll simply hard code that. No need to make it a percentage. And in total financing fees, that comes from the financing fee schedule over there. So that's what we'll do on our uses of funds. Of course, let's not forget about the amount of equity we have to issue in stock to our shareholders. After we finish the uses of funds, what we'll do is we'll do our sources of funds. Our sources of funds will simply bring in the amounts from the cash and the minimum cash balance as well as our new structure, as well as the amount of equity that we will issue, and then our revolver which will ultimately balance it. This will be a significantly shorter and significantly quicker sources of funds to calculate. Of course, we'll bring in all our interest rates, which we'll actually just end up hard coding. We're not going to have a sensitivity on that. You know how to do that already. And as always, as before, we'll calculate our percentage breakdown. And that's it for our source of uses. Very straightforward. So let's go ahead and start building it, actually.